The night belongs to the monsters. Once the sun sets, the chaos roils and monsters spill forth to menace mankind. But not in the dead dunes. Here, night brings a sort of peace. For in this place of death, the monsters rest when the sun does. Such nights remind me of more peaceful times, of being wrapped in my mother's warm embrace. After my parents died, I tried to purge those memories so that I could be strong for Sarah. I wanted to be her mother, but to her, I must have seemed more like a jailer. Jumping into the dead dunes. So there's a... Uh, That's fair. All right, let's do it. We're also going to change our... Um, let's come out of here. All right, we're going to change it to... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going, I'm going back to the OG. I've also gotten the request. Uh, Fafnir Fang, um, this warp point has been used in over 100 years. Activated for use. Sure. Sweet. Throughout the dead dunes, you will find red cactar statues that are thought to have been left behind by some ancient civilization. When lightning touches one, it is activated as a warp machine. You can use these statues to warp to other locations, which lightning is already activated. Whenever you find a red cactar statue, remember to have lightning investigated. Cool. But Fafnir and Frank had mentioned the idea of um, switching off the DLC garbs. Uh, we will do that after we leave the dead dunes. Uh, sorry, let me... My bad. But they haven't had any luck, right? It seems like the Order isn't the only one interested either. The bandits also want it. Yes. The bandits that called this desert home. They make a living by taking what they can from the ruins and selling their finds. Are they bandits or grave robbers? I don't know how much this clavis is worth. But if it can be used to gather souls, it sounds pretty handy for a savior. Yes, it's the only artifact of its type in the world. If the Order is willing to spend so many resources searching for it, it's probably worth finding. It's a pretty sky. Alright, well let's go, uh, see this. What is this, like a Nekaton? What is this thing? Any mini kings with 25% let's take two. Do it. Oh yeah, Neon Ekton. Ooh, am I cooked here? I've not placed anything in the dead dudes yet. I don't know how tough this place is. Uh, this could be bad. It's insane. The DLC garbs are nuts. Ruin level one, liquid glass. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll keep the, the DLC garbs like intact, you know, ready to use. But then what we'll do is we will um, switch that up as we go forward. Um, I, I kind of figured like once 6 a.m. hits and we're in the original location we started the game in, uh, we'll probably just go like get rid of all the DLC garb and then try to use something else and we got a lot of drops for equipment and uh, attacks and not equipment sorry but like it, we got a lot of stuff in for um, for attacks I might be in trouble here actually now I realize because I don't have the ability to pause time any longer am I in trouble what am I doing
feel like I'm in Crash Bandicoot. What's going on here? Slipping and sliding. Surely there's nothing down here that's going to hurt me. There's no fall damage at all, that's for sure. Can I jump over this? I can't. Nice. Uh-oh. Row, row. Got him. Oh, these enemies don't seem too bad. Why is it that I randomly just encountered a Mio Necton in the desert that wanted to kill me? Like, this feels different. This feels easier. The EP I'm getting, though, is tragic. Like, point eighteen is not good. That is very, very bad. I'm missing the behemoths, that's for sure. Yeah. The savior has to return to the ark once a day. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You have to present your Aradia to God to slow down the destruction of the world. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, you'll be transported up here to the ark at 6 a.m. sharp. Don't forget that, okay? Oh, I know. This door seems to be locked from the inside. We're not getting in this way, that's for sure. Looks like the search is still on. What is this guy doing? It's a skeleton. Look how spooky he is. Bro, it's not even Halloween any longer. What are you doing here? me 45 EP. Oh, he gets 0.5. Dead man's teeth. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. That seems not important. Alright, so let's, let's explore the desert. Honestly, we have essentially, like, 90 seconds. <laughs> like, that's all we got. I could freeze time. I could, you know what, actually, I might freeze time. You know what, maybe I shall. If I freeze time, you think, like, when I come back to... I've got max EP. I do. I have no idea. I, I I do not know how this is gonna work. This should be easy. Yeah, let's try to just get into fights. I think the fights are useful because of the drops. I believe there's a world where all of these items that are dropping, or a majority of them, I need for quests. So I, I really, you know, I think that's a good time. I think that's a good idea. I don't know how to get through there, but I'm sure it'll be a uh, classic. I, I finish what I'm doing, and then I find out wait, what actually happens there. It's what about Monica? Six. I'm sure you know what that means. No need to tie up any loose ends, though. Time stands still in this world while you're up in the Ark. It's a pretty handy system, isn't it? Got him. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have landed him. I now have no eight. I have just no ATB. Casually no ATB. I will say this: it's it's fortunate that time doesn't pass in fights. I know that's a thing, though, isn't it? Like if you like, like in normal mode has much stricter requirements, in, in much much stricter scenarios. In terms of like fights and stuff like that. I wanna say that's a thing. I'm just gonna chill here, I'm gonna take a bunch of damage, it's fine. Nothing to speak of. Classic. EP abilities. Chronostasis. D faith level two. That's kind of that's kind of dare I say snazzy. Potential potential snaz. What is going on over here? What is this? What have I happened upon? Let's get a a, a good viewpoint. Am I missing anything? What about map? 
It's funny, I was going to name this episode The Dead Dunes, but I'm going to be kidnapped, sent back to the Ark, before I can really explore the dunes. What a shame. What is this little little guy? How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Oh, you're not able to be interacted with. Love that. No enemies. Well, that's not what I hoped. Well, you know what? Maybe this makes sense. Because it's 540. And they have that whole dialogue about how um, monsters don't come up with the sun. Like, the, they, like once the sun comes up, they're, they're out of here. Like, they bail. How you doing, buddy? Uh, should I have a respirator? Should I be concerned about the fact that I don't have one of those? The entrance to these ruins is guarded by the bandit gang Monoculus. If you want in, you'll need the permission of our boss. I love how nice the bandits are. <laughs> so kind. They're like, hey, can you just get permission? Like, bro, really? Like, I thought you were going to, like, attack me. Oh, can I do that? I wonder. All right, well, I have no enemies near me, no ability to pause time. Blight, I just want to remind you that it's almost six, and you know what happens then. When it's uh, time, you'll be transported automatically up to the Ark. Oh, I know. Free me. Free me. What is this? Anything. Any enemies. I think I'm cooked. I think I'm going to the Ark, whether or not I like it. Oh, what is that? No! Oh, the first day is over. It is time to return to the Ark. Boo! Boo! Okay, that's fine, though. I mean, honestly, we... Uh, we, we got a lot done the first day. I, I feel like we did. I, I got so much done, people were telling me, like, please stop pausing time. Please, for the love of everything that is holy, back, please stop. Now step forward and offer your Aradia so we can give time back to the world. Pray. As the world dies around me, I offer this blessing. A suitable dress fear for this. You can call it a garment, you can call it whatever you want. It's a dress spirit. We know. Is this true? From the light? Are you going to give me an extra day? With the power of Aradia, you have successfully extended the world's life. Come here and I'll explain. Red Mage, Liberator. Oh, nice. This is Idrisil, the Tree of Life. It's a holy tree, and its life force is entwined with that of the world. Aradia gives Idrisil the power to grow. As the tree grows stronger, so too does the world. With enough Aradia, you can extend its life and push back the Day of Destruction. Up to 13 days, after which God awakens. So the more Aradia I can collect, the bigger that tree will grow. And the bigger the tree, the longer the world has before Doomsday. There are certain areas within Nova Chrysalia that I want you to focus on. Five locations where I'm picking up anomalous chaos readings. And I'm guessing one of those locations is right where Snow is. Yes, exactly. The palace in the city of Yusnan. There is another spot, in the heart of Luxarian, the Holy City. One more in the scorching sands of the dead dunes. And finally, I've measured large chaos fluctuations at two locations in the wildlands. Four regions, five locations. To be more precise, the goals are people, not places. Did I mess up? Was there a main quest I was supposed to accomplish the first day? There's a hard truth we must face. 
There are thousands of people down in the world waiting to be saved, but you cannot help all of them. It's not possible. I've only got a handful of days. There just isn't enough time, right? This will sound cold, but you need to be efficient. Saving people who are suffering under the heaviest burdens will give you more Aradia, which is good for us. But the greater the burden, the more you might have to do before that soul can be saved. Sometimes, solving someone's problem might just take too long. Okay, you jerk. This time on helping the hard cases. I've got to pick and choose who gets saved. Of course it would be best if you could save everyone, but you can't. It's a numbers game, Light. The more souls Man, you I thought save, you had some character the more development, hope. you can gather and offer to the tree. The time spent helping one person might be better spent saving the souls of ten others. Efficiency by volume, is that it? A numbers game, like you say. Control costs and maximize profits. What is it that they say? Time is money. In this world, all the clocks count to 12, but that wasn't always the case. Back in the old days, all clocks went to 13. Somehow, when the chaos first flooded into the world, we lost that 13th hour. It was one of the great mysteries. No one could figure it out. But happen, it did. And the results were dramatic. Space-time has been damaged. Where once each day lasted 26 hours, now only lasts 24. Two hours of every day, gone, just like that. The lost time. What do we learn? Oh, Chocolina. When Lightning's younger sister Sarah was journeying through time, the merchant Chocolina appeared everywhere she went in order to lend a helping hand. She seems to have no sense of tact, nor sensitivity to how grave the situation might be, for she can keep a conversation going single-handedly. She is not simply dressed in a chocobo costume. Her feathers and wings are the real deal. She is not a human, but she takes the form of one through the blessing of the goddess. There are very few who know her true form. The Lightning's old ally, Saw, seems to be one of them. Mythology. The goddess Etro and Valhalla. Etro was the goddess of death, enthroned in a world filled with chaos, and known as Valhalla. Most people now believe the teachings of the Order, which preaches devotion to Lunavelze, but they're... Wait, What? Okay, I, I don't know how to comprehend words. Uh, Etro was the goddess of death, and thrown in a world full of chaos and known as Valhalla. Most people now believe the teachings of the Order, which preaches devotion to Buna Belze. Oh, I see. But there still exist minority groups of heretics who are devotees to the goddess Etro. The Unseen Chaos. The Unseen Chaos is the darkness which dragged lightning to Valhalla. 500 years ago. The border between Valhalla and this world was broken up open, and the world was flooded by an ocean of chaos. When lightning came into contact with the unseen chaos, she touched a darkness that should never exist in the human world. Etro had damned the unseen chaos in her temple, but when she died, there was no one left who could stop the catastrophe that later ensued. If the unseen chaos were to flood into the world again, it would threaten God's plans for humanity. It is said that a great chaos lies within the temple of the goddess in the wildlands. The parallels to the unseen chaos of Ahala are too close for comfort. Fair. Oh, I didn't read the second page. Though her believers have not realized it, the goddess Etro died centuries ago. She was the one who held back the chaos, keeping it within her own realm of Valhalla. Lightning was a sworn servant of Etro, who fought to protect the goddess, a battle she eventually lost. Thus began the destruction of the world. Locations. Oh yeah, wildlands. An island of untamed wilderness, where the grandeur of nature still survives, and many fierce monsters roam. The people of the wildlands are those who have grown weary of city life, or those seeking to escape the Order's influence. They live independently from the rest of the world, surviving directly off the land. This area was ground zero when the chaos first flooded into the world from Valhalla, and it is here that you will find the Temple of the Goddess of Death, transported from the other dimension. Before it stands, a village inhabited by those who worship Etro. Near to the station is the farming village of Canopus Farms, famous for its fresh produce. Arius Village to the south raises fuzzy sheep, and in the woods of Yacht live chocobo riding hunters. There's also a small camp of some kind in the northeast. The dead dudes. The fringes of the desolate desert are lapped by the ocean of chaos. 
It is not a place meant for human inhabitation. But thanks to the ancient ruins that are scattered among the dunes, many lawless bandits have come here to plunder the treasure within. In the desert, wild monsters are most active during daylight hours. Unlike other parts of the world, nights in the desert are blessed by relative peace and quiet. Centuries of plundering have emptied most of the ruins, but one legendary treasure, the Holy Clavis, still sits beyond a seal that no one has been able to break. Cool. That's enough for history. We, we've gone over quite a bit, so. Don't see anyone else to fight. That's fine. We also got, like, a new garment. Red Mage. Okay, so I was being told that the ones I'm using are OP. Look at the stats of Spear Summoner, Soldier First Class, and Spear Hunter. Look at Red Mage. I suppose I can see how that's a problem. Problem is, I don't even know what's DLC and what's not anymore, to be honest. Couldn't even tell you. I guess Equilibrium. I mean, this has got to be... Like, this is like her default garb, right? Gosh, I don't remember. I already, I got so much DLC stuff. I don't even know what's uh, what's real anymore. But it looks like oh, it looks like our uh, points did uh, increase. Yo, we can teleport. That's so good. We are a hundred percent going to Luxurion. I think I need to talk to that dude. Um, that's um, that dude that helps with the uh, combining like items, like attack and stuff. Wait, where am I? Was it wasn't Luxury on the first area we were? Am I crazy? Am I in a boss fight? Hey Savior, what's going on? <laughs> oh, it's Sarah's clone. You again? Maybe I don't know what that is. Are you alright? Where are you? What's the problem? Equipment trouble? I'm out of doing crazy reading. The coordinates make no sense. I can't pinpoint the position. <laughs> Hope, are you there? No, no, no. Hope can't hear you or see you. You're invisible. Do you know why? Because we're inside you. Spooky. That's huh? that's something you mean inside you my mind. Yeah, it's a safe place that God can't see. You could almost say it's like oh, I don't know, an unseen realm. All right. Is it the Thank same voice actor for Sarah? That begs the question. What the hell are you doing in here? I'm going to say something that is going to sound mean, but I don't mean it to be mean. And I don't know if that's fine, but Lumina sound a lot like Brave Fencer Musashi. Mr. Musashi himself. It's like the, the there's like a certain coarseness to her voice that I can tell Musashi has as well. Or maybe she just sounds like the characters in that game. Even if I know otherwise, well, my lips are I have no reason to betray him. Right, right. That's very convincing. Keep those feelings hidden and play the loyal little servant. You want to be as cold as a steel in your sword. You do that, and then no one can guess what's inside. Huh. 
It's true, God can't see into human hearts. But he can read your face and tone, just like anyone else, and make his own guesses. Like I said, I don't have anything to hide. He's promised to bring Sarah back. I'm not gonna do anything that might cause him to change his mind. Why should I? Are you still in there? Lightning? Why are you afraid? Uh, name's Yuna. Come on, think about it. We're inside your mind. Don't you get it? If you can't be true to yourself here, where can you? I know you haven't changed, because you can't. What the hell are you? We're, We're just, just particles, particles of dust, dust fresh from, from the palm of a god. That's all we ever were. Wait, what? Particles of dust brushed from the palms of a god. Is that like the that power of Etro? That was Sarah. What? I assume I'm gonna remember that quote one day after I play more of this game and be like, oh, that makes sense. But right now, it makes no sense whatsoever. I don't understand. We've come a long Finally, way from fallacy, that's for sure. Again. Life, what just happened? I was talking to Lumina. Lumina? That girl? What does she want? Where is she now? You didn't hear any of that? No. Because this game's time. This definitely feels like a game where you can like get to the boss really dream. quickly. So you just have to let time pass Maybe as fast as it possibly can. Uh, right. Uh, teleport complete. Hmm. That was interesting. All right, well, I think we had some readings in Rosarion, so we'll look at those. Again, I'm mostly coming here for the fact that uh, there is a... Uh, um, where is it? I really messed up. I, I made big mistakes. Um, equilibrium... I, I didn't I like I get I got like caught chasing them and by chasing them I mean I just went and tried to kill them um, and that was a mistake but let me I might die here Tomb Raider <laughs> Pro Tomb Raider <laughs> That's an insane We'll do Mist Wizard. I, I I think Mist Wizard is a base. I, I again I just I just don't know. I just don't know what's uh, what's base and what's not. I mean these seem like pretty I mean I'll say these seem pretty crappy. <laughs> Look at the stats, they're just atrocious. They are no good. I'm gonna die, for sure. We need to figure out their code, the four numbers. Right, and if we don't figure it out by tonight, another girl will be sacrificed. I don't want that on my conscience. You have to hurry and stay alert for the shadow hunter. Didn't wasn't there like a whole time thing where I need to check in the morning on this? I think I think there was. Let me look at the quest. Oh yeah, after 6 a.m. four numbers will appear on walls across the city. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Where are the where are the numbers? Out of my way. I'm looking for numbers. This is a very pretty place in, in daylight. I like this. I like the I like the design. Thanks for 
I guess it is kind of cool I can get things at shops. Although it's not particularly, like, unique. It's kind of cool. I am concerned I'm not going to make as much progress as I would like. I saw a wall up there with some kind of strange writing on it. It was a number, I think. Well, you have been extremely helpful, buddy. Thank you. What a sweetheart. What an absolute sweetheart. Up there. What is up there? Please don't tell me time has to pass for me to see the numbers. Because that, that would just be something else. Maybe up here is what he meant. Bro, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I Everyone's been very adamant that I will not run out of time. But the time pressure 100% gets to me. Did you hear the terrible news? They found the children of Etro. Yeah. Like, the fact that I'm just, like, marching towards an inevitable end is, uh, something I worry about. Oh, wait, I wonder if it's on the map. Like, what is this thing? Oh, no, that's just the gate. Bro, what does he mean? Up there. That means nothing to me. That's such a... First off, I'm terrible at directions. Like, what is up there mean? I, I assume he means like, like, like if you go forward, you know what I mean? Like, oh, head up, head up the road a few blocks, kind of situation. But I, I could not tell you what at all this means right now. All right, well, I didn't kill him in two hits, so I'm guessing this dress sphere is a little bit weaker. like where it would be but I don't see it this seems pretty egregious for up there like this is a pretty far distance if I could just see an example you know what I mean because it showed me a screenshot or like a picture of what it's supposed to look like and it made sense to me and I was like oh yeah that's obvious but I'm not seeing that anywhere, so now I'm second guessing myself. Hmm, I wonder. I don't know. It, my heart says when he says up there, I think he means over here. That's what my heart says. My heart of hearts. Okay. These also kind of feel like base dress spheres uh, because they don't have any special attacks. Like, uh, like Yuna has like Elementa and stuff like that, but these are just like attack, and that seems pretty, uh, pretty neutral. So that's kind of nice. Again, trying to set ourselves up for a more challenging um, situation. Another lookalike, but why are they killing innocents? The victim was a devout believer in God. A dedicated member of the order. I knew her when she was alive. I bet you I could have saved her if I was faster. Always out on the streets, spreading the word of God. The victim was famous throughout the city. So devout was she, some believed she was the savior. She was killed because of her beliefs, I'm sure. There's no limit to the heretic's perfidy. They could be trying to force you into making a mistake. These girls are just... Something. Oh. Another one will be killed tonight. I'm starting to think we should just take these Etro fanatics head on. I hate to say it, but I agree. And the best way to do that is to infiltrate their rights. You've got to find the code by tonight. Then you'll be able to crash their party. Bro, I know. I know I gotta find the code by tonight, but I don't know where it is. Hey, are you okay? Are you hurt? 
Yeah, what happened to her? Yeah, sure. On the gallery steps in the commercial district, Whitey meets a girl called Blythe. She has made a journey here to buy special medicine for her father, who is gravely ill, but was told by the potion shop that they are out of ingredients. There's only one such shop in the commercial district. Whitey should pay to visit. Need a s spectral elixir? Oh, I, I see. I, I gotta have them make it. Chocobo Emporium, all right then. Bro, I'm begging you, game. Give me a number. Give me any of them. <laughs> Did you hear? Strange glowing numbers have appeared on the wall next to the phone booth in the South Station. Or so they say. No, I didn't. Well, now you know. South Station. The phone room. Go see for yourself. Blind man looks for numbers. That is truly what is happening right now. Oh shoot, what was the... What was the controls? There was like a way I could like unlock these. What was it? It was um... Uh, is there like a gamepad? Yeah. Left trigger, left bumper. Thing. There was a way to do this. Oh, it's so annoying. I don't remember. I don't remember how to do this. That is so annoying. Uh, let me see if I can look it up. Because I remember that, like, this this is the problem with, like, not playing a game for a bit. You just forget how to play. Oh, you have to engage on a quest? Oh, well, never mind then. Okay. It's like one of those, like, it's always the battle of, like, am I supposed to know how to do this? You know what I mean? Stasis. I, I honestly I'm convinced I'm not gonna it sounds ridiculous I'm just not gonna find these numbers in time I don't know what I'm missing man how could I fail on the first quest all right well 
let me go down here where the kids are running. Maybe there's something here. This is, this is the bane of my existence, that's for sure. I mean, what did they say? They said South Station phone booth. There's like a number. Uh, let me check where I'm going. Alright, well, I got one of them. No ability to pause that time. Uh, let me check the map. South Station phone booth. Let's go. the numbers <laughs> where are the numbers you know the thing that kills me is I gotta find four of these uh, I've, I've yet to find one I guess arguably only 30 uh, minutes is to have passed but has 30 minutes passed or have I paused time and give myself like a good few hours to not find them I wonder if I get different ET based on the result. I thought it was just like a drop from the enemy, but I wonder if there's a thing there. It'd be a difference. Oh, thank goodness. Thank, thank it all. It reads nine. Thank, oh my gosh. There, there is hope. Does it read nine? Hope. Looks like that may be one down. Great. The first of the four numbers we need. You're not done yet, though. Keep looking. We need three more to assemble the complete code. Uh, no? What are you doing here, buddy? His must his, his whole beard looks like he stapled it on. No, no, don't try and deny it. All I'm interested in is the color of your money. I've seen their code and I'm willing to tell you what I know for a price. Oh, 100 percent The code I saw was on a wall down in the central. So if you've seen it already, then there isn't much point in paying me for it. 
Oh, 100%. Time is money. We were just talking about that. Five hundred gil for extra time is nuts. I'm, I'm rich, dude. Wait, whoa! It wants sixty. I'll accept that. That's crazy. Ooh, I only have two liquid glass. That's a bummer. Aren't we near? It's hard to tell because you know it's it's daytime. Aren't we near the the guy that does the like Thank you for visiting. weapon com combinations or no? Oh, look at that! So we have so much money, we're just buying random stuff because like why not? We also like fought things in the wildlands for eight hundred hours, so that does help our money situation for sure. Oh, I, I really hope? I didn't know. I wasn't stressing out about that all day. Yeah, surely. I was, you know, I was like, you know what? I've got all the time to kill. Who would have thought? Didn't know I had two more numbers. This is the clock tower. Wait, what did I, what did I come across? Oh, bronze metal. I was like, what is going on? This isn't Centrum, so maybe there's something here. Well, the one thing I, I do know now is what exactly what to look for. So if I don't see a number on the wall, I don't, like, I don't need to approach, you know what I mean? Like, I know what's what. What's this? One of the faithful, are you? Sure. This is Pilgrim's Causeway. Hey, it's Gorgon Opsit. Fafnir's favorite fiend. My enemy. Oh, I might be dead here. Look at how much I've done nothing against Gorgon Opsid. Really need to talk to that guy about not having crappy, uh, Techniques here soon. Or crappy attacks, I should say, not techniques. Although, Gorgon Asset almost seems like. Like, I'd say, like, stun lock. Like, he doesn't know what to do. Uh oh, well, as I say that, I'm, I'm in trouble. Megabyte. I'm gonna die to a, a Gorgon Opsid. That's actually insane. You won't steal our future. Man, I really want to combine the attacks. I just, I just haven't seen the guy yet. How sad. Okay. 
Not gonna lie, I miss my DLC outfits. Getting out of this is I really need to talk to that guy about getting better attacks. I guess I could just customize it now. I probably have some like attack twos, maybe an attack three. Well, I, I something's got to change. This is too. Uh, the, the the attack is far too too little. I mean, shoot, I can't even overclock here. That's not bad, actually. Oh, wrong button. Clearly. <laughs> Meant to strike. any numbers. What a shame. Oh, well, there's a organ option. Am I close to a stagger? What are we doing here? I don't know. Looks like maybe no. Crazy that they included all the, the dress first that you did though as DLC. I really like that. I mean, regardless of the power, which is nice, uh, just the fact that you can call back to so many other games is, is fantastic. Gorgonopsids. They really do just want to die. All right, after this, I gotta, I gotta look at my attacks, man. This is, uh, this is no good. Yeah, the swap between dress spheres is a is an interesting take on the paradigm system though, I will say that. Get there. 
eventually. All right, yeah, let's take a look here. We got it's not, something must change, and specifically, I think it's attack. Wait, it's locked? Excuse me? Is it because I? Why would it be locked? You're telling me I can't replace attack with something else? Well, I guess that is actually the best I have. Um, interesting. Oh, the abilities give me, like, uh, increases in strength. That's really interesting. What if I do my best to just make myself super strong? Huh. Yeah, we've just had cross strike. Can we do that twice? Can we get like, no, we can't. We can have blitz though. I'll probably never use these, but they're good for strength. And then this is magic, so. What about this, what about this bad boy? Oh. Interesting. No, uh, no luck. That's fine. What about fire? another fire what about wow yeah look at that do I have like a yeah, who is who is Thundara what's that on right now it's probably one of the DLC outfits So that's slightly better. I mean, I, I'm not going to say it's, like, insane at, by any means. But I think it's slightly better. Where am I? Man, I, I, you guys don't even know what I do to see a number right now. Just feral things to see a number right now. That's all I'm saying. This is a good, like, vantage point. Is there anything I'm missing? Oh, no, that's the guy. Right here, right? Right? Uh, this guy. Uh, what's chronostasis? I should have chronostasis in front of one of the numbers to make sure that I wasn't, like, crazy. I just don't know if I'm getting anything out of this. To be 100%. It looks like I am. Maybe? I really don't know. Oh, what if I do something crazy? Oh, maybe I can't do something crazy right now. Bro, what is going on? Is it just not at its limit yet? Oh, I see. There it is. I don't think I have enough. I was thinking, like, what if I get two blizzards with the arrows up? Like, will that mean, like, they're, like, insane? Like, like they can combine into, like, Blizzara? Because that'd be kind of cool. I don't think that did anything. What a shame. Again, we just have so much. Proof of synthesizing abilities 30 times. Good for me. I'm a synthesized madman. 
Oh, this is a good opportunity. Wait, this looks like it just does the same thing. Yeah, nothing has changed. I'm just like wasting them, I think. What a shame. Could have been cool. Could have been cool, then it wasn't. Oh, all these deep protects have different abilities. So can I like do something crazy where like, oh, this is interesting. Can I like make them have a bunch of different abilities? Am I thinking weird? Is that not how that works? I don't know. I thought I knew how this worked, but I, I am convinced more and more that I, maybe I don't. Well, that definitely made an increase because the, the attack went up. But apart from that, nothing like that crazy. Oh yeah, attack went up again, nice. Even more so, wow. pretty happy uh, for the most part with this stuff. Alright, hot take. I'm going to ruin everything. Uh, customize Skamata. Where's, where's Spear Summoner? Um... That's all fine. I just wanted the attack. Thank you for your blessed be, friend. Uh, looks like we're actually good there. Thank you for your blessed be, friend. Oh. I see, then I can change that. Oh, that's interesting. That's fine, I don't wanna do anything there. Uh, all I wanna do is I wanna customize Equilibrium and I wanna put attack. Bro, it's gonna do the same thing. That's so lame. All right, we'll do attack. And then we'll put like a blitz on there or something, I don't know. Uh, Frost Strike, anything different now? No. Yeah, so we'll just make sure not to attack with the level. The level one attack. I don't know why it's locked. Like what? Why? What's the point? Interesting. Oh hey, a new enemy. Oh, that? I, I can't tell if that's better or not. I think it is, but, like, not by, like, an extreme amount. Alright, I gotta, I gotta check the map. Is there any way, like, it will tell me things? Oh. I've been to the cathedral. I don't think I've been to the Warren yet, have I? Uh, since since daybreak struck. Oh, this is new as well. Yeah. The 
only place you can get to from this north station. Hello. This is actually good to fight these because I have that quest that requires like a billion of their drops. Which we should probably get. Ooh, they are burning. That girl is on fire. Man, who would have thought I wouldn't be able to find these numbers? I feel like we've... I feel like this is, like, where we started. Like, this is the starting point. So let's go this way. Again, I feel like it should be over there, but... You know. What I feel versus what's reality is two different things when it comes to these numbers. If you wish to go to you should go down. Maybe over here? No. Nothing appearing. Uh, let me make sure I'm going the right way, because I might just be backtracking here. There's a very good chance I am. Um, yep. An extremely good chance. Let's go back because I'm backtracking. The fact that the dude offered to pay, like, have us pay for a number is. That's my favorite dude in this game so far. Like, 100%. That's so nice. Just to pay to get a number, I'll take it. This way. Oh, I saw a, a flash. What does that mean? Maybe nothing. Maybe it means nothing. That's fine. Not everything has to mean something. We, we, I mean, we cleaned him. That was brutal. Oh, shoot. The way to the warrants is blocked, isn't it? Or, hear me out, I've just gone the complete wrong direction. That's also a possibility. Or, I just don't know where to go. It does sound like me. Dude, we oh man, we gotta find the numbers. I don't have time. Oh man. How do I get to the dunes? Or not the I, okay, now I'm just saying words. Fire not the dunes. Too late and it gets too dark. I know hope. Dude, I'm sweating here. I don't know where to go. Let's take a left here. You're already halfway there. One thing they have. No. Don't tell me the warrens are blocked off. Bro, for real? I just can't go there? No matter where I go, I cannot go to the Warrens. Zero to six, zero to six. I mean, I guess that confirms that there's definitely no numbers there, but like, come on, you know? Oh, let me check one thing for my own sanity, since I'm here. Are there any numbers in the train station? There could be. It'd be mean, but there could be. I 
again, I, I think I'm just backtracking. What are these numbers? We did South Station. I, mean, I guess I guess we just gotta go to where we think we haven't before. They're all just looking at the dude. <laughs> Can I get into the Warrens without going through the gates? Is there like a way I can sneak in? It would be ideal. Looks like there is a way I can get out. Bronze metal. Oh, there's a little treasure. I can steal from a shop. That's fun. Spark Strike level two, let's go. Dude, in my heart of hearts, I, I want to find these numbers today. I mean, here's the thing, if I waste an entire day failing to find these numbers, like what does that mean? Like, what does that mean for the rest of the playthrough? You know, again, like, I... I am... I, I want to believe I'm firm in accepting my fate. If I if I just don't do a quest on this playthrough, I'm just not going to do it. Um, that seems right? I don't know. I don't know. The, we also... We had that question, right? We had that question of, like, how many times are we going to play through Lightning Returns? Maybe we'll play through more. It really depends on how long this game is. I don't want to leave too much undone, but I think at this point with a game like this, um, where it is like a finite amount of time, uh, maybe, okay, call me call me a wimp. I I'm okay just leaving things on the table. Like, I don't have to find every single little thing. I, I don't really care to. Um, when, I'm on, when I'm on the clock, you know. I don't know. I, I constantly, like, flip between, like, whether or not that's a good idea. Like, it was, like, Majora's Mask where you have infinite time. It's just, like, on a, like, a day cycle, it's different. But, like, when you're, like, you're, you're, this is essentially, I mean, okay, I don't want to, I do not want to, like, <laughs> make it seem bigger than it is. It's, it's like a pseudo speed, right, where you're, like, okay, what do I do here, what do I do there? That all being said, though. I mean, every single person has told me, like, you are going to have so many days left over. Which makes me think there's probably not a lot in this game, like, for side quests. Like, it's, it, it's probably going to be pretty quick. I don't know, we'll see. I'm really interested to see how, that's, uh, how that pans out. Uh, it seems like I'm doing okay against the Gorgonopsis. I don't know if it's like night and day different, but it seems better-ish. My stats are genuinely higher, so that is something to consider. But, you know, I don't know if we've gotten to the point where it's like, oh wow, he just, he, he came for me. We haven't gotten to the point where it's like, like the Final Fantasy X death sphere where you're just like, oh yeah, you are the best ever.
Oh, he's mad. He's going for the megabyte. He's big mad. Uh, maybe Frost Strike isn't that good. I was going for it, but then I feel like I'm not doing as much as I would like to. That's a tough, tough call. Alright, so here I am. Hello, Cleric. We go to the cathedral. Haven't been here yet, I don't think. Oh yeah, we got a little little data log thing. Oh, uh oh, I fell. Please tell me there's a number here. There's gotta be, right? I mean, the 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 pure disrespect of putting a number in the cathedral, like insane, right? This is incredible, though. Check this place out. I suppose since I had the opportunity, I might as well freeze time. Anyone here? Is there anyone to really talk to? I mean, I got like a data log thing. Like story. God's plan. God made a promise. He told Lightning that he would bring Sarah back to her as she became his servant and acted as his savior. She agreed at once. But inside Lightning's mind, Lumina warns her that even if she plans to turn against God, she would be well advised to play the loyal servant until the end. Lightning is being watched by God through Hope's eyes, but not even he can see what lies within the unseen realm. He cannot see within the chaos, nor within the hearts of men that are made from it. Who is this young girl who suggests that Lightning conspire against God? Lightning glimpses the shadow of Sarah and Lumina as she disappears, but what does it mean? Oh, sorry, I think location's what I was looking for. Yeah, Cathedral of Luxuria. Towering over the Luxurian skyline is the Grand Headquarters of the Order of Salvation. During the day, a grand hall called the Hall of Devotion is open to the public, and believers come to hear the sermonizing of the priestess who leads the order. Pilgrims stream to the cathedral, many of them hoping to catch a glimpse of the mysterious saint who lives deep within the cathedral, but few are rewarded. Beneath the cathedral is God's sanctum. This special chamber stands ready for the ceremony that the Order will perform on the last day of the world. Only a select few are allowed to enter. Oh, interesting. How oh, interesting. How many years has it been now since the saint appeared in this world together with Lumina? Here, here. I wonder if there's a point to be here at night. I wonder if I'd see anything new. Because there's a ladder to leave, so I could chill here until it gets dark. I just don't know if there'd be any value. So far, it looks like nothing is here that I care to see. What a shame. Came all this way for no numbers. It's okay. This is a good direction to go. Again, I, I do I do feel a tad bit lost in the sauce. So I, I came from there. I went there, and this is the whole cathedral. So I could go down here, which I think I've gone to before. But let's go here. I think this is new. I think this is like the long... Oh, no, it's not. I was thinking it was this thing. It's not. Um, That's fine, maybe. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot about the cat thing. Have I, have I done this quest yet? Successfully? I'm not so sure I have. Ooh, I didn't get him. What a shame. They got me. Good for them. Man, where's my Jack and Daxter move set? Why can't she grab onto ledges? I am convinced that the numbers don't exist. Like, what is going on? Or, you know, maybe they're like in, uh, in regions where I have to climb to find them. I was talking to someone who claimed they saw a mysterious light shining. It was like ghost. Inside the graveyard outside of town. But here's the thing. I've been there. Or is that the graveyard? The residence. Holy district. Cathedral, sure. Old town. I'm surprised the graveyard isn't an old town. Because that'd be such a troll thing to do to me. Do I have to... Here's the question. Do I have to, like... Do I have to, like, talk to people to get the numbers to appear? Am I just coping the hardest anyone's ever coped? Is that the actual answer? That's probably it. Okay, I feel like where I was was maybe a graveyard. The thing is, oh, man, I remember the graveyard. That's not it, actually, is it? I feel like I remember the baby, right? Strange man, what do you want? I'm not interested in your... Miss Mighty's... Have you been to the dazzling city of... Freddy Man? See, I have a conundrum. Yeah, but, but this one, it's not what you're thinking. I mean... What do you need? Oh, this is the one I already saw, right? The nine, yeah. Yeah, we're losing a lot of people. I don't feel so good about this. I checked the station at the uh, other area, but I haven't checked this one. It seems pretty, pretty much the same, I want to say. Oh, I'm, this is not good. If I get encountered, I could be in trouble. Again, this is not a graveyard as far as I know. This is just a place. Let me go this way, actually. Oh hey buddy, I can use I can use a fighter too. Yeah, I know we're going a little bit longer than normal. I just really want to find these numbers. I thought I thought today was going to be a short one hour in the dead dunes, and then I got kidnapped, essentially. Honestly, the reason I thought dead dunes would last longer is because we had behemoths in the wildlands, and I figured dead dunes was tougher, right? So in my brain, I was like, oh, that means like more EP for fights, and it just we all saw it did not mean that at all like we did not get more than one ep per fight in any encounter the most we got i think was like 0.5 so definitely not a uh not an ep farm at all which is ultimately uh that's fine like it's not the biggest deal i'm collecting don't we ask that every bless you i'm collecting 
collecting. We ask that e bless you. I'm collecting. We ask that every. Oh, how much money do you need? Believers who give up their proof of legendary title. The order is grateful, but we have no blessed are the devout. What did I get? I got proof of something. Liberator, Juno. Dead man's teeth. Proof of legendary title. Nice. Maybe that'll come in handy one someday. If I was a graveyard, where would I be? Oh, this, hey, this is new. Well, I mean, I've been here before, but, like, this is new in terms of, like, I haven't been here since it turned day. Kind of oh, wait, where, where, where? Give me a fight. Oh my gosh, it's massive. That's three numbers. One more number, and we've got ourselves a code. Did you hear? Strange glowing numbers of a pit or so. Yeah, I know all Bro. about that. Ah, is that right? Hmm. But then I wonder if you've heard of a similar incident that happened down in the Warren. The Warren, huh? I haven't heard about that. I thought you'd be interested. No, not the Do Warren. The Warren? It lies beyond Old Town. I've heard glowing numbers were discovered somewhere inside. Not that I care to go myself. It is the haunt of ruffians and criminals. Take care. In that den of iniquity, no one is safe. I can take care of myself just fine. Thanks for all the information. You're a big help. Another ritual takes Bro, how? It's place tonight. Find the fourth number before it's too late. No, here's the thing. I need to go to the Warren. Explain. Explain. Explain how in the world I get to the Warren. Both gates are closed. Dude, this am I cooked? So I have to here here's the here's the troll. Here's the troll of this entire quest line. It needs to be day when I see these numbers. And it's only open from midnight to 6 a.m., which is not day, as we all know. So how am I supposed to get here? What? Dude. There's got to be a way. Do I need to wait? Do I need to waste a whole day? Like, no way. That's not, that cannot be the case. Uh, in the Saints Hill area, the residences, Lightning encounters a would-be challenger by the name of Lamont. Oh, I know that guy. In Bujerba, wants the uh, wants to know about Nethosite. Lightning never wanted to turn down a summons to a contest to grease the race. Now she has to make sure she keeps up with the fleet-footed kid and beat him to the goal. But with a name like Lightning, how can she lose? True. Can we? Can you help me with the goal is? Bro, what? Well, oh, tell me where the finish line is eventually. What a jerk. Light, you just have to find one more number to complete the code. Do that, and you'll be able to get into the site of their ceremony. You're close. Go for it. This 
podcast is brought to you by the public morals office of the Order of Salvation. I might have to look up this code thing. I feel like such a scumbag doing that, but I need I need to look up can I get into the Warrens like during this time. The time the time pressure definitely gets to me, that's for sure. Hopefully this doesn't mess up the class. I'm just fast right here. I am fast as lightning. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh my gosh. I cheated. Lightning. It says you need to enter it in that. That's so annoying. Oh, I cleared five side quests. Got a little bit of stats. That's exciting. Yeah, it says there's no, uh, Is that all the... That's all the codes, is there? Because the South Station was not anywhere I knew that. Don't get caught. Good advice. to kill that is surprising but that's fine are you taking the I think I have to use not have I have I been to use not yet no let's go to use not Yeah, let's go. Uh, isn't that where uh, Snow is? The savior of souls, that is what I'm called now. I fell from soldier to a sea, from a sea to Etro's night. Now it is the almighty god, Bunavelze, who has brought me back from crystal sleep to him. My duty? To guide the people so that they will be reborn in the new world of his making. My partner in this great task is Hope S. Time. Once he was my ally, my equal a man destined to lead the people of Cocoon in their time of need. And now he appears before me as a boy once again. He says he will lead me on my journey through this ageless world. The clock is winding down. The countdown has begun. The last days of Nova Chrysalia are now. I swear I'll make you happy. Those were my own words. When I think I was fooling, I couldn't do a damn thing. You died centuries ago.
It's Usnon. Alright, so we found all the numbers except one, but we know it's in the warrant, so we have to be there at midnight. Um, I feel 50-50 on if that's an accomplishment or not. That's rough. Into loose, Sarah. It looks like the palace is completely locked down, but I think I found a way you can sneak in. The Augur's Quarter is our best bet. Supplies for the Grand Feast are delivered each and every day, anywhere from early afternoon to late at night. There should be plenty of things for you to hide amongst and make your way inside. Cool. And with that, that is going to end us for today. We found the numbers. We did a little bit of dead dunes. But when we come back, we're, we might do some Ustanon stuff. We might, we're just looking for any side quest. So whether or not we stay here, depending on how it goes. And uh, once midnight rolls around, we will go to the Warrens. But thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And see you next time.